In seven years, the Jim and Julie Beheim Foundation has touched thousands of lives in central and upstate New York. Over $2.6 million have been donated to 135 organizations, such as the Upstate Cancer Center, Challenger Field of Dreams, Say Yes to Education, and CNY Hospice. Tonight we take a closer look at two organizations that have become a cornerstone of Jim and Julie's commitment to veterans and at-risk youth. Through his relationship with soldiers at the 10th Mountain Division of Fort Drum, Jim has become increasingly aware of issues facing veterans and their families. Clear Path for Veterans is an all-inclusive, community-based, holistic resource center that partners with local organizations to connect service members and their families to the resources they need. I served the United States Army. I got medically retired because of injuries I've received. I struggled with PTSD really bad, so I never really wanted to get out of the house ever and just kind of stay at home and away from everybody and stay like to myself. So I come here three times a week, and that's just Monday through Friday, and then on Saturdays we come and do the kids program. Being able to do these activities with my wife and kid is just awesome. It's, stuff that I've wanted to do but wasn't able to do before. And just being in this program has made a huge difference. He sleeps through the night. That's huge. Because it would be every two hours that he would be getting up and he would have to check every single door, the windows. He would, the slightest sound in the middle of the night would wake him up. Coming here has given him the ability to be able to do that. And it's been amazing. I tell all the veterans I see at the VA hospital or anywhere about this program, Clear Path for Veterans. This is just great. I want to say thank you and please, I'm asking you for the bottom of my heart, do what you can to help out. You know, I'm walking, living proof that what this program does, it works. I am that goofball I was before the military. Over the last several years, with the Foundation's unwavering commitment, the Boys and Girls Club of Syracuse have undergone not only unimaginable physical transformations, but human transformations as well. The difference in the outlook of the kids at Boys and Girls Club is palpable. Well, my name is Derek Dorsey. I'm executive director of the Boys and Girls Club. I've been on board since August 3rd, 2015, a former club member and uh, from way back in the day. And um, looking forward to taking the clubs into the, to the next level. The clubs um, created access for me to be around adults who cared, um, a safe environment, and a constructive environment. If you don't have nowhere to go after school, you could just come to the Boys and Girls Club. When I walk through the door, it feels like nice and warm. I see all the nice people faces. I hear nice things going on, like the people helping other people with their homework. The staff that are here now, they like like real friendly. Sometimes it might be a good or a bad day, but we always make it through. Our goal is not to just provide recreation for uh, the members from the Syracuse, the Boys and Girls Club of Syracuse, but also to provide them with some, some skills. I do my homework. I and then they let us get some free time, we get to play. I get my homework done more than most of the time and that I get to see a lot of my friends play basketball. I'm making a lot of new friends because I get to see people I never knew before. I would like for the members that attend the Boys and Girls Clubs on a regular basis to walk out of this facility with more skills and better people than when they arrive. I, I used to be a bad kid, like real bad. Ever since I started coaching the Boys and Girls Club, I just started improving at everything. Coach not only gives of, of his money through the foundation for our Boys and Girls Club of Syracuse, he also gives his time. He makes time to go to facilities and go to our facilities and speak to the young folks about the value of reading, the value of education, um, staying in the clubs and, and listening to adults that are in the clubs because they know we, we have their best interests and he knows we have their best interests. And it just means so much to me as the executive director that he's able to give of himself. And we want to create a place where they can continue to dream um, it's very important that the facilities stay open and I just want them to consider to give as much as they can 
um, to the Beheim Foundation because it's their continued support of us that really makes an opportunity for the kids of the city of Syracuse to have their dreams come true. The Jim and Julie Beheim Foundation would like to thank you for your continued support, which helps so many and makes a lasting positive impact on our community.